Jaylee brings her back down. Fernando go for an arm bar, arm trip. Jaylee oh, gets her on her back. And it's a pin. A fall for Jaylee Casares at 108. Champion. Nice job, Jaylee. So Tony, as we take a look at the champion right now, who are some of the coaches that representing? Did we go over that for the Brawley Girls program here? The coaches are my brother is a head coach there. He's uh, Ray Leon, assistant coach of Joel Duenas, and a former wrestler from Brawley, Damian Gomez. Interesting, we have a Brawley girl and an Imperial, two Valleyites. Yes. So we've got Mia Navarro from Brawley, and we've got Yadira Chavez from Imperial. So there's a 108 uh, match. Mia with a two takedown to her back, it gets a couple of swipes from the referee. Another two, no, no, he waves it off. Mia with a chicken wing takes her over to her back. Referee swipe for five and a pin. <laughs> Mia Navarro comes out with a pin. Over, they call her Sky Chavez out of Imperial. Lindsay still has her on her back, working for a pin. Come over, try to scoop the both legs, try to do a Saturday night ride, they call that. They hook the both legs. She's got one. And Moreno turns back over, but Lindsay's still on the half. Still on that half. She's got three near fall already. Oh, good. Moreno yeah, comes all the way up. Leono. Good skate. An escape. And the time is over. Exciting second period. Two seconds. And that's it. Ah, that's a good little match there between Leona and Lopez. Final score Lindsay Lopez, 10. Iris Moreno of Imperial, two, at 113. And no, no escape yet, still controlled by Point Loma, and there's, and there's a reversal. DJ, call her, now she runs a half on her. Oh, there she goes. There it is. And there there's a go. ball. DJ, I tell you, she's, she's something else. She doesn't give up. She's a competitor. As you can tell by her socks, Simon, she's yeah. uh, she uh, got them wrestling socks on. That tenacity, she wasn't going to let it, she was going to be denied. Yeah. Anyway, DJ's favorite wrestler is Helen Marulis. She's a USA uh, gold medalist this summer. And she plans to go on to college and pursue wrestling. Gonzalez getting out front, looking to get an escape again. Lim hanging on to the legs. Got the friend headlock and the bulldog takes her over to her back. And the time runs out. So I know there's gonna be two near fall and two reversal. Yes. Gonzalez just ran out of time, had her right there. 20 seconds left in the match. Gonzalez is still trying to get up. There goes the arm bar, and she finally succeeds and gets it. Yep. And got near fall, but let's see. Gonzalez is trying to turn. Lim is holding on. She gets out. Three, and a two near fall for two, Lim. One. And that's all she wrote in the, in the, in the match. Lim the final score. Yep, Lim able to outlast her 13-7. 13 to seven, good match. It was a good match there. Both of those two, they know each other. They, they you know, from the same uh, area. So it was a great match. Oh, going to the ball and chain. No, missed it. Staying on top. Got the wrist control. Eight seconds left in the match. 5-0 for Lexi Lopez. And she's gonna come out the winner here too. One, and she's walking over a chicken wing, and that's the end of the match. It's just good to see Lexi Lopez and, and other wrestlers, like you said, Tony, 
very technical. Even the way she shifts her body when she's on top of her opponent. I mean, you could tell it's not just a move to convenient her. It's actually she's setting something up. That's exactly right. You set one thing up for another one. So you might have chain, they call it chain wrestling because it's attached to one thing and to another thing to another. It's, it depends on the reaction of the wrestler on bottom and what she does and you're waiting for it because you're going to capture that moment and it, just like the cross face, you know? Yeah. Pushing her head down and uh, popping her head up really quick because she doesn't want it down and it supplies the cross face and you finish it in the cross face, you could go to uh, numerous uh, turns from there. Going, to, oh, there you go. She's coming around with a with a bob wire. They call this a bob wire because it's crossing the hands on top on the chest and she loses the hand, but she's getting near fall. Oh, she's got one hand trapped, looking for the fall, and there it is. Sims, Milana, with a, a victory in the second period. So, in the second period, Milana Sims on the next match, 139 pound match, is Savannah Gomez out of Brawley. Oh, there's a lot to talk about about this, Savannah. And Amber Spencer out of Santana. I think they met one time already. And uh, Savannah's just having her way. I mean, Savannah is a, is a national wrestler. She, had, she might be ranked in the top three in the nation as a wrestler. Um, the, the thing about this is, you know, Savannah is a very tough wrestler, and it's hard to... to have somebody in the practice room that compete against her, uh, you know. So, and she's wrestled, wrestled in national tournaments. She went up to Fargo. Uh, she competes with uh, uh, club teams uh, out in the San Diego, I mean, the LA area. And, uh, you know, she's highly ranked and, and, and she's on national spotlight, so. Um, and only a sophomore too, only, is that correct? Uh, she's a junior this oh, year. That's right. And the cradle package. And there's the fall, Savannah Ga Gomez having no problem handling Amber Spencer from Santana. Young, a nice low level single for the takedown. Riding on top heavy. You wanna ride up there on those shoulders, gets the arm bar, switches off to a, a chicken wing, runs it forward, and we might have a fall here. And there it is. And there it is. Quick work, quick work, Young out of Valley Center. Well, it's good to see a full schedule here of all the weights filled up, Tony. Yes. And and that was something that, that wasn't Desiree seen years Jones ago. Jones out of Valley Center with a trip over Isabel Evans of Tri-City Christian. Takes it to her back, still has her in the back. It, look, it looks like she's getting near fall. She got three near fall already. She's got a nice half on it. She's running around the corner. Again, here's that one-two combo we talk about with Valley Center. That girl before her and then now this one. So they've got to be practice partners. You can tell. You know, make each other tougher. A cross face. And there's a, she's running a bob wire. Nope, she lets go. Goes back to the behind and looks for a wrist. Looking to pull a chicken wing. Looks like she's looking to get the near wrist. And there's a chicken wing. Now we're just going to have to run it forward, running around the corner. There you go. Big step, big step, near fall. We might have a fall here. And there it is. There it is. Just Desiree Jones out of Valley Center with the fall and the win. Wow. And, and it's, it's almost the same time as her practice partner, too. <laughs> 46 seconds left on the clock. And she's going to step around. But Diaz fighting her off, fighting her off. Sprawl or sprawl. Eight seconds. Going around the corner, going around the corner. Four. Oh, no, last chance. And two takedown Diaz. Making the final score five to two. Diaz was not going to give anything up. No, she, she <laughs> might have been playing possum there on the stalling. And once she knew she got that point taken away, she, she turned it up a notch right there. Very good match right there, Tony. Yeah, real tight match yes. at the end. Back to referee position here. 
Forche on top, looking for, oh, got a fat man roll. They call this the move, the fat man roll, because they grab their wrist and leave it too long underneath, and they that hold on to it. That was just a smooth yeah. transition right It's just a right roll, there. it's just a roll. And looking, and she's got her two reversal and two near fall, and looking for the fall here with 44 seconds. 44 seconds left, and she might get it. Here it is. It's close. And Dylan riding on high, and there it is. There's the fall with 33 seconds left in the first period. Dylan Hardon comes out and gets the fall for the win. 2-0 for Perez. Perez in with a shot, drives a double leg. Nice double leg drive. Takes her straight to her back. Got a little high, and Mora able to turn. And so she got two takedown and two near fall, making the score 6 0. She's riding on top, so it's like your arms are short, short when you're back there. You come out to the side, your arms, you know, you can start getting leverage. Oh, there's trying, she's trying to do a roll. No, no, no attempt. Bring her back down. We look like we got a locking hands at the end there. And there is a locking hands. 12, one point green, locking hands red. One point green. Unfortunately, Central is still down. With 11 seconds to go in the last quarter here, unless El Centro Perez comes, well, I'm sorry. They will. It's, it's the third period. What did I say? You said quarter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now football this weekend, next weekend. <laughs> that, that one's a little bit hard to change a little bit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I understand why. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Well, congratulations there to Alejandra Perez from La Costa Canyon, Tony. Yes, sir, she come out with the victory. And you know what I love, Tony? The sportsmanship after this is over. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is just great right there. Yep. You could tell that. It's like, like you know, anything else. It's, uh, it's a little bit different on the football field sometimes, but right here, when it comes to the wrestling, there's that community is very tight and very respectful. Rocha coming in as a senior. Well, what started out to be a very aggressive match has now down come down to a little bit looking for that opportunity to shoot in and stuff because with, with the score two to one right now, Rocha leading, I mean, it's still anybody's match right now. Yes, yes. Uh, Rocha is down to start the second period. It comes up right, really quick. Oh, nice throw. Look at two near fall, looking for the foul. Her feet are in, and there it is. There it is. So. Valeria Rocha out of El Cajon Valley with a win and the pin over Evelyn Coronado of Montgomery. Yeah.